right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, welcome to day number 50. Oh, yeah, it is 50. That's cool. Look at this. You guys, I was too lazy, and I completely forgot yesterday to bring these in. Oh, we get to have an energy drink right now, because I forgot to bring these and put them in the fridge yesterday. They got to sit in a heated garage. Uh, one of the parents from the gym gave me these. So thank you. Really needed it today, especially in this exact moment, because I'm really tired. Uh, he sells them online. This is his, like, code thing. If you want to buy them, I would. But honestly, they taste like, well, I haven't tried it. This one's supposed to taste like Sprite or 7-Up. But there's root beer ones here, which I'm going to save for a special occasion. <laughs> it's like three of my favorite things. 7-Up, low calorie, and caffeine. All in one. So we're going to, I'm just going to drink this whole thing first. And then we'll get started with the car ride here. Oh yeah, it tastes exactly like 7-Up actually. Sick. And it's 10 calories. Zero sugar, fucking mint. All right, let's let's keep the video going now. All right, found a really good song. You guys are gonna you guys are gonna enjoy. Yeah, let's get going here. All right, that was good. I'm in a better better mood now. All right, let's recap. Monday and Tuesday training, shall we? Okay, those fucking just, you know, you don't pour sugar on shit before you eat it, so I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They sucked. We're bad as shit. But that's okay, because we no longer have to live those exact days anymore. We've lived past them now. We've pushed through it. Yesterday was probably, I'm not even kidding, one of the closest I've ever been in my life during training, where it was just going so bad, where I was just ready to just go home and just be done. I've never once in my life done that, where the training was sh so shit, or I was so mad, or I just left training. Because I've always, I've always remembered like this quote before. It, it's not like a popular one said by some guy, but I've always known this quote for a long time that when shit gets tough like that, you know, that's when most people quit. Okay, and that's why I it just like enhances in my mind that I really really don't want to quit now like I want to do it even more than I did before and I'm twice as pissed but now I want to do it even more because I know that everyone else would have quit by now so I'm gonna just keep going maybe the turns will just get worse but I'll just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going you know what happened yesterday after all those shitty day turns events whatever you want to call that day at the end of the day after my camera died and I stopped videoing before I did my outro I decided Hmm. Let's finish this day off with some push-ups and some sit-ups for about a half hour. So I did like, I don't know, like 300 push-ups and like 300 sit-ups. I don't really count. I just do it till it hurts. Till it hurts is a solid number to stop at. You know, it's not the best number to stop at because the best number to stop at is when it just fucking burns. That's the best number of reps to stop at, okay? And uh, if you're wondering how the quote actually goes, it's something along the lines of uh, when things get hard, this is when most people quit and this is why most people don't win and if it was just yesterday's training that was bad and like monday wasn't too bad of a training then it would be a different story but it's the fact that monday sucked and then tuesday sucked so yeah i just doubled down on all the fun but you know what see that that's tyso gymnastics <sighs> the red zone the dead zone the kill zone the war zone the hell zone the shit zone <sighs> the dungeon the trenches we are at the gym why is it so blurry see I'm gonna show you guys something cool. So I'm clicking the screen right now, and uh, this is a thousand dollar camera. So when you click the screen, it's actually supposed to focus, but it's not. Okay, cool. We're just we're just gonna go inside and do some flips and shit. So uh, let's get to work, shall we? All right, so for B bars. Uh, the next couple days, the camera might be a little bit crooked because uh, the tripod broke yesterday, of course. Of course it did, why wouldn't it, you know? Everything was just going so well, you might as well just add to the problem. Uh, I was contemplating between a shit ton of P-bar dismounts or a few P-bar dismounts and just a shit ton of pommel. And then I'm gonna go to pommel and just do a lot of turns as punishment for Monday and Tuesday. Not so much as punishment, more as uh, help me clear my head. And by the way, if P-bars is not going well and I'm not landing anything, uh, we're just gonna switch it up and then I'll just abuse myself on P-bars. Either way, I need to be abused today. That sounds wrong. That's sad. Let's rephrase that. I need 
we're just gonna, I wanna work really hard today. And yes, today is supposed to be the easy day and this technically is easy because it'll just be one event where I go really hard instead of me doing two trainings. First training going pretty hard for a bunch of stuff and then second training going really hard for a bunch of stuff. Now instead I'll just be going extremely hard just for one specific thing and then that's it. like that's not too bad. So yeah, let's get started with a bunch of P-Bar dismounts, eh? Always gotta be like that. All right, I've decided what we're gonna do for the day. 10 stuck T-bar dismounts. So whether it takes the whole training, I get 10 in a row, that's what we're doing. Let's get to work, shall we? Dismount number two. It's gonna be fun. Dismount number three. <laughs> This will probably be my whole training. I can just, I can see it. I can see it. This is number five. <sighs> you know, I usually like land, I usually land them at least. Uh, I'm gonna guess 50 dismounts is around what we'll be doing. This is number six. Load of horseshit. Dismount number seven. This one number eight. I'm doing ten. Dismount number nine. It's one. Nine to go. This one number ten. This one number eleven. We're having fun. This one number 12. Two down, eight to go. Little, little tip when uh, everything's going to shit like this is uh, don't think of any other option number two. That'll fuck with you and make it way worse. Just make yourself understand that this is the only choice. There's no, there's no out, there's no easier path. It's just, this is, this is it. It'll help your brain overcome understanding that you have to do it and there's no second option. 10-6 is 10-6, that's it. No less, no more. It just has to be done. It'll come quicker than the mindset of someone that is sitting there thinking, maybe, maybe Maybe five is good. Maybe maybe just three, because they're not going great. You just have to understand that it's ten and that's ten. Dismount number thirteen. Three down, seven to go. Dismount number fourteen. Four down, six to go. Dismount number fifteen. Didn't feel good, that's for sure. This one number 16. All oh, right, we got a whiteboard now. Because I started to lose track of how many I've done and then how many I've stuck. And I didn't want to lose track because that wouldn't be good. Then I might do too little or too much. But yeah, we're on number 17 now. Dismount 17. Oh, that whiteboard is gonna be full by the time we're done here. Dismount number 18. Oh. Dismount number 19. Alright, dismount number 20. Dismount 21. Five down, five to go. Half done. <sighs> Alright, I did my hair. Put some water in it. I was thinking, you know, sexy hair. Sexy dismounts. Let's see. Let's go. Dismount number 23. <laughs> Told ya. Six down. Four to go. Dismount number 24. Oh. Of course. Of course. Why not? Why not? The marker gave out. The marker fucking died. That's cool. Quit before I did, so we got a new marker. I just thought I'd put that out there, you know? Just the little things like that. The marker couldn't even make it to number 25. It wouldn't. Like, what a joke, okay? This round number 25. Seven down, three to go. This one number 26. I hope you guys are at least enjoying watching this. 
Dismount number 27. Ow. Dismount number 28. Dismount number 29. Dismount number 30. Eight down. Two to go. Dismount number 31. So close. Dismount number 32. Nine down. One to go. Alright. Dismount number 33. My legs feel like jello. Dismount number 34. Dismount number 35. Right there, it's right there, it's one more, one more. This mount number 36. This mount number 37. Yes! Done! Finally, 10 out of 10. Okay guys, we've done 10 dismounts and 30, oh sorry, we've done, we've stuck 10 dismounts and we've done 37 total dismounts. Uh, by the way, today wasn't like a good day, it was an off day. And I wanted to do 10 stuck ones so I could understand what I have to do and what it feels like to stick a landing on a day where it doesn't feel right. So that's why I did that today. Yeah, that was fun. At least, at least I get rewarded with seeing the number 10 on the board. So it looks, it looks cool. See? Look. All that pain just so we can see a cool number there. Beautiful. Um, we're not doing anything else today. That was my whole plan for the day. Plan was to like stick three and then go to Palma and destroy myself on Palma. But they were going shit on P bars, so I decided to destroy myself on P bars instead. That's fun. That is fun. My legs feel like gel and my shin splints hurt, so we're just gonna roll on my calves and ice them and I'm gonna go to my massage. That is literally it for the video. The whole video was sat at this angle the whole time. I am so sorry guys that you had to sit through all that. I uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Yeah, it was good. It was good stuff. A little tip towards doing shit like this. You have to have uh, vision and grit, okay? Grit so you can push through it. And then vision so you can see and feel what it's going to be like to achieve all 10 of the sticks. Because if you can't imagine how achieving the goal is going to feel, that you're not going to want to work as hard towards it. But if you can picture yourself winning and stuff, then it makes you want it more. It'll make you work harder towards it. So yeah, vision and grit, that's what you need, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you watched the full video and you enjoyed it, I'm glad to hear that, honestly. I'm glad to hear that you actually enjoyed watching that. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And if you watched the full video, comment. If you watched the full video, comment stick. S-T-I-C-K. I think we've done that one before, but uh, I think it just suits what I did today. Fits what I did today, whatever. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, bye, love you.